fellas, do you like McDonald's? Don't lie. Don't say that you don't. I know that you do. I'm positive. They're the most popular fast food chain in the world for a reason. But do you know where it comes from? Did you know McDonald Land is an actual place? It's true. Look. I found it. McDonald Land is real. A true magical place where cheeseburgers grow on cattails and fries walk around aimlessly waiting to be launched into your yearning mouth. McDonald Land is a magical, wonderful place filled with many colorful, happy denizens like the Constable and Mayor McCheese and a pirate. Today, we're going to learn a little bit about McDonald Land with a little video that I happened to find that uh, popped up on my recommended. But I found something about the rise and fall of McDonald Land, which again, I haven't heard about it in a long time. So I guess maybe they're, I don't know, maybe they're like Slovakia or something. You know, it's like the Ottoman Empire. They've been overtaken by some Eastern European country. But let's go ahead and watch what exactly happened to McDonald Land. So sit back, relax, and let's take a deep dive into one of fast food's most iconic and absolutely bonkers advertising campaigns. <laughs> Look at this Ronald. Is this what happens when the cameras aren't on? He just melts. That is the saddest Ronald I've ever seen. It began as a fairly modest drive-in restaurant, serving hamburgers, barbecue, hot dogs, and other eateries by Damn, way they of car barbecue? Hops. However, despite its success, eight years later, Egg the Man? McDonald's a brothers little? decided to close the restaurant for a refurbishment. I don't know, dude. I... <laughs> These guys do not look like they're related at all. I would, I think I would trust this guy more, but that's how they get you, right? This guy's on the sales team and I just gave him my entire investment, so. Just these changes alone would allow McDonald's to deliver a customer's order in a staggering 15 to 30 seconds. Another change was getting Jeez. rid of the slower car hop. Dude, if you got McDonald's in 15 to 30 seconds, if you were if you were around in like the 30s or the 40s or whatever the hell this is and you got food in in 15 seconds, I would think there was some like science fiction witchcraft thing was going on in the back. I wonder why they upped the price so much. That's such a great price point. I bet people would buy a hundred now, and that's fifteen dollars. Sure, the restaurant's golden arches were already very recognizable. I kinda like that mascot, the acquisition, honestly, but I'm McDonald's not a child. The first iteration Come to think of, of it. the soon to be iconic Golden M logo. Zoomers need but something else. Wanted to enter Give him a headset. Of television advertising. Enter Bozo the Clown, who was first introduced on television in 1949, and by the 1960s had become the world's most famous clown and household name. Numerous actors played the terrifying, I mean, charming clown during. Who's the world's most famous clown now? Ronald? That doesn't count. He's not an actual clown. He's a mask. Okay, funny chat. Funny. Okay, good one. One of these good was one, radio chat. personality yeah. Willard Scott, who in 1962 laugh. was approached by McDonald's to see if he was interested in playing a different kind of clown. Could have said XQC. Uh -huh. That would have been funny. Isn't Me? No. I'm Ronald McDonald. Give me a McDonald's shake. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, dude. His nose is a cup. So when he sneezes, you get a milkshake. Wait, did, did the kid say, the kid says, my mom says not to talk to strangers. And Ronald is like, yeah, your mom's right, but here's my name. We're not strangers now. Ronald, this doesn't send the message you think it does. Mom told me never to talk to strangers. Well, your mother's right as always, but I'm Ronald McDonald. Give me a McDonald's shake. In 1963, <laughs> the restaurant's new mascot, Damn. Ronald McDonald, made his first appearance. You get on right television. past the objection. Two more commercials that same year. Well done, These Ronald. Make the sale. <laughs> what the hell is that? What the hell is that? He's so thick. That has to be full of burgers, right? Oh, it is Squidward. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's Squidward eating the Krabby Patty. Now, for those unaware, the 1960s and 70s were the boom of Saturday morning cartoons. And as cynical as it sounds, the driving force behind this wasn't entertaining children, but advertising to children. You see, companies knew that getting worked. kids hooked on cheaply made television shows was the best way to advertise toys, games, candy, and especially... There's a little fun fact to you guys. Did you guys know that Mr. Potato Head wasn't, like, a figure like this in the past? Mr. Potato Head were the things you put on him. They wanted you to use a real potato. He just was a normal potato, and you had to put the things on him, which seems very unsafe. I'm glad they fixed that. But what made cereal commercials especially unique was their world building, catchy bubblegum <laughs> tunes, and their irresistibly charming More? mascots. Unsurprisingly, McDonald's wanted to get in on this too, so they reached out to Needham, Harper, and Steers. 
A short time later, the ad agency came back to McDonald's wow. with a brilliant concept called McDonald Land, a magical place filled with all kinds of unique and lovable characters. Alongside Ronald, there was Mayor McCheese, Officer Big Mac, and the Professor as the good guys within this world. What the fuck? Why is he not food? Why are the other two food, but the Professor is not food? That's so weird to me. Why is the Big Mac not the mayor? I feel like the Big Mac has more sway, right? He's stronger. He's more masculine. I would the I would give it up for of Captain Crook and the Hamburglar with the Look at that Hamburglar. Oh my god. Holy fuck, that's terrifying. Would you allow yourself to be arrested by a regular cheeseburger? Nope, I'd bite the shit out of him. I would bite that asshole. I he'd be done. It'd be over. You don't need hands to bite. He would put the handcuffs on me, and his head is so big, I could probably get to the center this way. If hamburgers and cheeseburgers made up our police force, there'd be so much more crime. That would be so sad. <laughs> if you had to be a police officer, if you were born a cheeseburger, and you know every day is terrifying. Every day on the beat, out there in the streets, could be your last. Because all you need is just one hungry hobo. Now, because each and every one of these 1970s McDonald Land commercials is absolute comedy gold, let's take a deep dive into some of the best installments. Get yourself ready for a trip to McDonald's. Oh, God. One bright sunny Old commercials day are so Land, weird. Ronald Big Mac I'm so scared. Jim we're on their way to McDonald's when suddenly. Uh oh! The burger alarm! Cried Jim. There's a burger right behind you. I would set it off too. You've been traveling with a burger for a long time. He then tricks the crafty old Hamburglar into giving back all those delicious McDonald's hamburgers. But thankfully he gets his just desserts Got as his he ass. winds up getting arrested by Officer Big Mac. Got him. Well done, Officer Big Mac. <laughs> this is the same song. Another adventure features Ronald McDonald and his friend Billy fishing for filet fish sandwiches on filet fish Lake, when suddenly the despicable Captain Crook shows up. As you can probably predict, he demands for them to hand over all those tasty filet fish sandwiches. Yeah, he would. Never, said Billy. But Ronald instead puts a hole in his ship, causing Captain Crook to sink down into the waters of filet fish Lake. The two friends are then allowed to enjoy all those tasty filet fish sandwiches. What happened to the captain? Not even exactly <laughs> did. They didn't offer him safe harbor or give him a lifesaver or anything. How did he put a hole in it? Did he just throw his fit? Dude, he's fucked. I know this dude can't swim. He's wearing such heavy regalia, too. Gee, Ronald, I didn't want to give him the filet of fish, but did you have to kill him? Violence is all pirates understand, Billy. Yet another adventure features the professor working on a machine that'll make the best hamburger in the world. But what the silly professor doesn't realize is, duh, McDonald's already has the best hamburger in the world. This Stupid one also ass. features a terrifying Ronald McDonald laugh that'll haunt your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ronald? What is he laughing about? And before long, the popularity of the character okay, spawned well. a very profitable line of merchandise. Puzzles, calendars, souvenir glasses, slippers, posable figurines, Dude. and even a board game. When it came to the restaurant itself, many were adorned I didn't with know any of, that. of the land and its characters. That's sick. There were also concepts for a couple McDonald Land high chairs that were never produced. No, they were produced. I don't remember that. I don't remember that, but I remember a chair with Grimace. I remember a Grimace chair. I don't know about the bed of mold, though. The bed of mold. <laughs> like a Dark Souls boss. But one of the most iconic and nostalgic parts of this whole phenomenon was the McDonald Land playground. Dude. I Welcome, forgot Eric, these McDonald's existed. Land. Is that you, all Of course it's me. And all of your other friends, too. C come on in and look <laughs> around. After being welcomed oh by Mayor McCheese and Officer Big Mac, like there were all kinds he's of like ways Freddy to Fazbear. the McDonald Land playground. C -c 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 -come there was the Captain me. Crook spiral slide, a quote, exciting ride with a twist. Another was the Mad Professor slide, the McDonald Land teeter-totter, the apple pie tree, and the filet of Bro, I had an apple pie tree. This existed in Odenton, Maryland. And I ate at it a few times. Oh my god, that's... I, I, I haven't seen this in so long. Holy shit. I've eaten at that tree. He's nice. The tree is nice. 
Come play on the great equipment that makes McDonald Land a fun place to go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I feel the about the hamburger. Characters He's got to go. Land continued to bring McDonald's record sales. That tall boy design is too 70s. much. But behind the scenes, trouble was brewing for the fast food restaurant. You see, it turns out Needham, Harper, and Steers, who remember was behind the campaign, didn't come up with the idea of McDonald Land on their own. As later revealed, they'd first reached out to Sid and Marty Croft, the creators of HR Puff and Stuff. HR Puff and Stuff. Who? Well, howdy. <laughs> Despite only consisting oh of 17 episodes, HR Puff and Stuff was a very popular children's television series. Very which popular. From 1969 well into the 70s. So when Needham Harper and Steers reached out to the creators of HR Puff and Stuff, their idea was to use the characters and world of their show as a template for a new fictional land called McDonald Land. Oh, so they the just took that shit. The creators accepted okay. the offer and began developing the artistic Dude, designs the 70s and engineering and plans 60s, that you could do anything. You could steal However, anybody's minute, idea and just do it. Who's gonna Stop you, and the you cross know? noticed a few too many striking similarities. Between it must have been so easy to do crime before the internet. It must have been so easy to be a criminal and just do whatever the fuck you want and then just leave. It's still pretty easy. No, not really. I mean, it's easier than I think people think, but like there's so many ways to track you now that you miss a lot of modern living. So you have to make a lot of lifestyle compromises. Not here though. Back in the day, you could commit a crime in your town and then move, like, 30 miles away, and that's a whole new life. You could just... You could be in the same state and a totally different person. The most damning evidence, however, were the similarities between Mayor McCheese and H.R. Puff and Stuff. Name who one. also happened to be a mayor. He also had a nearly oh, identical voice to mayor. the character of Dr. Blinky. Hiya, Mayor McCheese. What's new? Well, you see, this, this McDonald Land Happy Cup is new. <laughs> Come on. I'll show you what it looks like. That's not the most fabulous invention you ever saw. That's not a that's not a uncommon voice though. That's Paul Lind, right? No, Paul Lind is the other one. Edwin, thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's mad common. Everybody was doing his voice back then. Although to be fair, the voice actors on both shows were simply emulating the voice of the legendary Ed Wynn. Yeah. What? For six long years, the lawsuit dragged on, which unbeknownst to many was happening in the back. Bro, the Captain Crook blows dick at races. This guy sucks. He started the race instantly, and he went, that, he's in a boat. <laughs> what a shithead. Why is he pointing at me? I didn't do it. He, he's pointing at the mayor. He's, I know it was you. You fucked up my boat. In December of 1977, the courts finally reached a verdict. McDonald's was guilty of copyright infringement. As part of the settlements, McDonald's wound up having to pay the Crofts more than $1 million in damages, Ooh. or just over $4.5 million today. Ah. As far as the changes to McDonald land itself, it gets a little complicated. In the meantime, the lawsuit wasn't the only problem McDonald's was facing. You see, franchise owners were finding that despite a previously successful ad campaign, kids didn't really want to eat at McDonald's anymore. The culprit? Star Wars. Mm, kind of. Burger Chef Star introduces Star Wars fun meals for your kids. A hamburger, french fries, and Coca-Cola. Imagine how much fun your kids will have. That kid is too old for that ship. He looks like 13. He should be interested in girls. And he's flying a ship around while eating in at McDonald's. But while the Happy Meal gave McDonald Land a new purpose, it was also undergoing major alterations. You see, around the same time, the ramifications of the McDonald's Croft lawsuit began seriously affecting the world of McDonald Land. First was How redesigning so? the world itself, drastically scaling back its, for lack of a better word, magic and wonder. In fact, more often than- That looked pretty magical to me. That car just flew over a ditch. That's magic. There was also the matter of the two most puff and stuff like characters, Mary McCheese and Officer Big Mac. What happened the to them? The first to go was Officer Big Mac, leaving the world of McDonald Land as a lawless wasteland. However, in the early 1980s, the courts ruled that despite these changes, McDonald's was still infringing on the copyrights of the crops. So the professor and Captain Crook, renamed the Captain, were completely redesigned as a way to distance themselves even further from the lawsuit. Why is one of them a puppet and the other one's a normal guy. One looks like a, like he's on Sesame Street and the other guy looks like my grandpa. If I was a kid, I'd be, I don't, I don't know which one to trust. 
So the company relented, and in 1985, retired one of the most iconic characters of McDonald's, Aww. Mayor McCheese. At least we got the addition of the adorable, but also kind of terrifying McNugget buddies. The That's so much worse. Because when I see Mayor McCheese, I'm like, he's probably delicious, but I can't eat him. His head is probably like a 120 pound hamburger. They're appetizing. I could eat them all very quickly. And I would, I would kill six sentient beings instead of just one guy. The rest of the 1980s would see a few additional changes to McDonald Land. One of them was redesigning the Hamburglar, Thank as God. well as an overhaul to the land itself I was waiting to for appear that. much more cartoony. But the Happy Meal did more than shake up the world of McDonald Land, as it also gave birth to one of the most iconic and nostalgic restaurant integrations of all time. McDonald's and Disney. It was a film Disney was truly banking on becoming a massive worldwide box office success. They were so confident that they encouraged McDonald's to really go all in with a massively expensive Dick Tracy ad campaign. With Disney's assurance, McDonald's created a truly epic promotional lineup <laughs> from expensive commercials, contests, and elaborate games. Dude. However, while the film was generally well received and had a decent run at the box office, Dick Tracy failed to live up to its high expectations and was ultimately seen as That's an overhyped That's so flop. sad. They the put all their money on it. They had like a monopoly. How many scratch cards do you need, brother? Jesus Christ! Forty million dollars. You can't win forty mil. I think they give out forty-one million dollar prizes, right? They have to. So McDonald's began to distance fuck? themselves from Disney's ad campaigns, including bowing out of promoting their next animated feature, Beauty and the Beast. Dumbass. However, their rival fast food restaurant Bag Burger fumble. King was more than happy to fill in. Burger King invites no. The stars oh no! Bag fumbled! No! What are you doing? The king ate your lunch! And the Burger King promotion was a huge success. As an attempt to get back in their good graces, McDonald's ran a modest ad campaign for Disney's next animated film, <laughs> Aladdin. Bro, why does Jafar T pose? That's his action thing? Jafar just hits the... So the company promised they would do everything in their power to once again become Disney's go-to fast food chain. Two years later, they did just that, as McDonald's and Disney announced a 10-year promotional alliance in April of 1996. 10 year? McDonald's is celebrating a new adventure from Disney. And starting this Wednesday, you can take home the magic of 101 Dalmatians. When of all the movies to start your partnership on, it's 101 Dalmatians? The real one? Dude, imagine you make a 10-year deal with Disney. They're just coming off of Lion King, which I think was the biggest movie of all time. And they put this pile of shit out? Part of this new partnership Jeez. resulted in the massively successful 101 Dalmatians live-action remake tie-in. I will say, this was massively successful, though. I, the movie sucked, but I do remember the toys being a big deal. I So, I'm stupid. The toys actually were a big deal. And led to countless kids Seriously, like myself not a joke. obsessing over trying to collect all 101 Dalmatian they toys. Made, they made 101 the of them. Which is like 98 more than you see in the movie. For me in particular, it was the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection. Especially the way the toy boxes were designed like VHS boxes. Oh. Yes, I'm that much of a nerd. But the partnership went He's beyond Disney's to animated me feature film canon and also became I had the plate. theme park events, such as Upcast I had Millennium the Hercules plate. Between film releases, the world of McDonald Land was still going strong. There was also the McDonald Land Fun Times, the McTreasure Island animated film, and even a surprisingly well reviewed video game. It's Another good! Another spin off was the Wacky it's Adventures good. of Ronald Unironic. McDonald, a straight to video series that was so popular that the restaurant locations often ran out of VHS copies. I don't know what this is. But it's is. really in the early 2000s that the McDonald Land franchise and Disney Happy I don't know what that was. began to completely unravel. Our big local story tonight, the federal government is now looking into that chicken head found in a McDonald's meal. Investigators oh, no! with the Department of... Oh, no! What do you mean? A whole chicken head? That's not even ambiguous. I thought it would be like, it kind of looks like a chicken head. No, that's a fucking chick. You, you can see the gizzard. You can see the beak. Oh my god. That is nasty. That was pretty gross. I don't think it's that bad. A major part <laughs> of the downfall was due to an increase in public awareness of the That lady is a risk taker. I love her. Fast food offering. She's down for anything, brother. To McDonald's. Fuck it. I'll eat All the chicken sudden, head. The Guys, really quick. Were any of you around for Super Size? I feel like Super Size has been gone for so long, people don't know. It, it was a lot of fries. 
Supersized fries was not... You know how when you eat at Five Guys, they just dump the whole thing? It was like that, but McDonald's and more. It was, it was nuts. So the McDonald's Land characters were scaled back from advertising, all but disappearing in the Boo. early 2000s. Then came the wildly popular documentary, Supersize Me, oh, which demonized no. McDonald's food offerings even further. Oh, no. Now I will say, it is a great commentary on the country's over-reliance on fast food. But to be fair, if you completely gorge yourself the way he does every meal, every day for one month with virtually no exercise, this could be applied to literally any fast food restaurant. Isn't this guy a piece of shit? I mean, like, li this is the first, like, this could be a Mr. Beast challenge, right? Like, this could be, I ate nothing but McDonald's for a month. Like, Mr. Beast is this guy, but in a different body. And he certainly influenced the nation, because they got rid of Super Size. But, like, it's such a shitty thing to do. It's like, yeah, if I did anything for 30 days and did nothing else, it probably would create serious problems. Yeah. It all but made the retirement of the McDonald's Land characters that much more permanent. Due in Man. part to all the controversy, citing new nutritional guidelines, Disney chose not to renew their deal with McDonald's in 2006. Damn! In addition to the so, I, my eyes were like, what am I reading? I, I started here. Urines of Nemo, Mr. Incredible, and 101 Dalmatians. That's a lot of pee. And then I was like, oh, figurines. Okay. I was... My brain was... I had a little short circuit there. I was like, what are you going to do with all that? In I don't even know if that's how you say it, like the plural of that, meant you know? removal of the restaurants and McDonald's food items in their theme parks. Dude. That's a massive Hi. L. The only real way to see any of the original McDonald's Land characters were through relics of the original playground and restaurant interiors. Yeah. may have taken and over there were a, a couple of near my house. But it seems to raise a delicious chocolate milkshake to the fallen heroes of the most successful advertising campaign in fast food history. But who knows? Maybe we'll see them someday. I hope so. I want to find out what happened to Captain Crook. So now you know what happened to McDonald Land. You will never go there. I got to go there. You will never get to go there. Now I get to laugh at you for being young. Who cares if I'm old? I got to go to McDonald Land. Stupid. <laughs> I have the plates. I've seen the show. I met Mayor McCheese, and you never, ever will. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs> He's a really nice guy. He really is. He's a good guy. Okay. Thanks for the $3, Ronald.